Hello everyone, welcome to the Geo Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on various topics of geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, the Geo Ecologist. So if you have not subscribed our channel, do subscribe and also go to the earlier videos in the playlist section and check for yourself the content. Now, in today's session on regional planning and development, we are going to learn about the various strategies for regional development. Now, why this word strategy is used? What is the particular non-military usage of this word? And also, what is the methodology of doing this strategy in terms of regional development? So all of this we are going to discuss. But before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe and also do share the videos with others as well. So now let's go ahead and learn about the various aspects of regional development strategies. Now when we say strategies, what does it mean? So remember strategy is derived from the classical Byzantine and also from the Greeks where strategos basically meant the military usage, the general, right? And basically the tricks of war. But why are we using this word in terms of development, in regional development? So this is the non-military usage of this word, where we plan in a particular way, like an army plans a war. So this is something related to the challenges of modern day development that we are doing here. So to look into this, this is a flow diagram which you can take into account, which talks about the strategy making at regional level for the development. So what is the basic attribute of it? First is the process of planning, which which we have discussed in the earlier lectures also the process of planning in various types then there comes the governance as the second major pillar and then it is the implementation of these planning process and also later on monitoring of the process changing the plans in accordance with the context so these are the three pillars planning governance and implementation that constitute the regional development strategies so now we know that a regional development strategy is basically used to do over all equal development of a region so overall sustainable regional development is what we are looking forward to so if you observe the trajectory of this regional development strategies since world war ii it's very interesting to see how approaches have changed so in 1950s the basic approach was economic approach only one discipline one subject dominated this idea of strategies for regional development and that was economics so regional development emerged it had a strong economic base and the focus was mainly on economic indicators in the beginning that is employment profit gdp growth right then what happened? Gradually, the world branched into various disciplines, talking about development, right? So what you observe, by the time we came to 1990s, by the time we came to the end of 20th century, it became multidisciplinary approach in nature, right? So regional development became more multidisciplinary an approach by 1990s. So how do we say multidisciplinary approach? Which disciplines added their knowledge to the development process? Here is political science, public policy, sociology, and these were very critical disciplines across the world, across India, alongside economics that started talking about making strategies for the overall regional development, right? So constructive idea of a region through multi-disciplines started then. And now in 21st century when we are, what do you see? The rise of economic geography. This joined the other subject and added one more dimension to it, that is geographical dimension. So the focus of regional development through economic strategy but through the spatial economics that is what came in 21st century where nature centric resource centric approach was changed into human centric approach that is human resource based regional development strategy so now having natural resources does not matter anymore as it used to in 1940s 50s 60s so here now human resource driven attitude towards development is what we take into account. Now, if you want to look at it, you can see the paradigm shift in policy making for regional development as well. So if you observe, this is the criteria, this is the time period and you can see conceptual basis right so you have industrial location theories we have talked about in models and theories and in modern times we talked about key factors not the grand theories so this is the difference now look here policy characteristics how it changed from classical to modern period so aim used to be equity or efficiency 
but now this or has changed now here aim is integrative equity and efficiency at the same time then objectives were employment creation increased investment but now look at the objectives the objectives are increased competitiveness in the market entrepreneurship innovation skill driven jobs these are where we are today right then sphere of action so earlier it was narrow economic industrial but now it has become broad it's multi sectoral development strategies right modes of operation earlier were reactive project based but now it's proactive futuristic planned strategic this is the change in paradigm in terms of planning for regional development right so if you observe the policy structures also changed with time so earlier the special focus was mainly problematic areas now it's overall development the earlier it was designation indicators regional exporting now it's about swot analysis strength weaknesses opportunities and threat analysis earlier key instrument was incentive scheme what is the key instrument now development programs into specific areas then assistance earlier was business aid infrastructure aid now it's about business development in accordance with environment and soft infrastructure creation then in organizational level also the strategies have changed from the past to present how you look here top down approach central government approach then simple rational and internalized approaches what has change now look here collective approaches regional authorities local governance complex and bureaucratic structures and participatory approach is now focused in regional development strategies so clearly you can see how we have changed in approaches in regional development strategies now if you observe what is the methodology of understanding these regional development strategy how do we actually do this strategy preparation so it has multiple steps now look at the list of the steps identification of the region is the first first thing so first let's identify the region on the basis of some criteria some problems then what we do we do mapping and listing of resources available in the region as the second step for strategy making then what we do is mapping and listing the problems in the existing region then what we do is making policy in accordance with the problem and planning then what we do is environmental effects we look into in terms of the planning of that particular policy and then evaluating social and political effects of that particular planning also is done then what is the next step implementation of this entire plan in a particular region then after implementation does it get over no remember mid term mid time review of the implemented program is also there part of methodology then what we do is policy implementation changes based on the review while it is implemented if there is any change that should be considered that is what we do then what comes is feedback mechanism very important for the strategy of regional development in today's time that if you are getting negative feedback change the process change the ideas right and then look into the result again give the feedback so that is important and the last is impact analysis so these are multiple steps as the strategy or you can say the methodology for the strategy of regional development so let's look into it one by one identification of a region we have talked about it earlier also so first idea is to identify for example some planning regions on multiple problems on multiple prospects so what you observe here hill areas planning coastal areas planning island planning least development area planning economically backward area planning remember bimaru states in india we talk about social backward planning flood prone area drought prone area earthquake area landslide region himalayan region cyclonic region coastal region what is this identification of the region in the first step then what we do is next mapping and listing our resources and that's where geography comes into the picture here geographical analysis very important in terms of mapping tools so look here for example mineral map of india what does it signify that which areas of india has which kind of minerals and accordingly planning that area in terms of particular industries isn't it so what we do here is these kind of resource stacking or listing so land resources fertility check topography water resources forests minerals energy capital demographic dividend all on the map listing it here then what we do is mapping and listing of 
problems of particular areas so can you see in the images road connectivity issues rail connectivity issues flood area problems these are listing the problems which are hurdles for regional development so for example you can see here resource scarcity locational disadvantage of particular areas inaccessibility lacking basic infrastructure environmental issues problems population density employability religious intolerance social inabilities and low capital formation so what are these these are particular problems which are there in a particular region or area which has to be listed after we made a list what is important in the next step making policy approach and planning in terms of that so there are two types of planning one is short-term plan one is long-term plan so it depends upon our objectives of planning so what do we do here the approaches can be taken in these ways some are centralized some are decentralized some have top-down approach some have bottoms up approach community participation ngo purely government funded ppp that is very common in today's india the public private partnership model which is being followed and purely private funded as well so we can take any approach in terms of making a policy then evaluation of this approach in terms of environmental effects so development always has an impact on environment and which has to be taken care right so this is next step then evaluation of social and political effects in a given area in terms of disturbances peace is the primary concern of social well-being remember so that's very important then what we talk about is implementation of this particular policy that is we have drafted till now so it's very important to have a good implementation and every single person should be the beneficiary of this particular plan so overall plan has to be implemented in the given area then mid-year review is where we check that is the plan working okay is there any problem in that particular plan or not and then what we do is changing the planning in terms of its implementation strategy or if there is anything that has to be added while looking into the feedback so these are the things then feedback mechanism the very important aspect of any particular plan remember no plan is perfect so feedback mechanism is very important that is the plan working as it was objectified earlier if my objective is to fulfill the needs of people and if it is not then we need to get the feedback so feedback mechanism from public experts ngos communities and then reworking on the plan that is very important part of strategy in regional development and the last one that is impact analysis and assessment that finally what is the impact is the objective being met or not after implementing that particular program or not right so comparing the quality of life of people before and after through hdi through other measures and then comparing environmental quality before and after so this before after comparison gives a very important picture and this can be used through satellite images gis as well we say technology in today's planning world so what do we do two times image and we compare land use classes we make so land use land classification that we do and changes that we do so lulc analysis is very common in geographical analysis using that we also see that what changes have occurred in the area so before after analysis is very common while implementing it so these are the steps and methodology of the strategy towards regional development and the whole purpose of doing this exercise is to create a sustainable future so now when we have discussed about the various aspects of the regional development strategies in these sessions to come we'll be talking more on other aspects of regional development so stay tuned stay safe keep watching and learning and do subscribe to our channel so all the best wishes take care